Hello, beautiful people. My name is Celia Motwining Zengele. Welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, welcome. If you're a return sabi, you do know how much you are appreciated for all the opportunities that you take just to watch my videos, spending your data and your time watching them over and over again. That is highly appreciated. And to all the new subscribers, welcome. This is home and express your views in the comment section. That way I can get to at least get a glimpse of you and you also can get to know me then we can know each other better and build this community uh, the road is to a thousand subscribers which we hope it will happen soon if you keep on sharing and uh, recommending it to other people to watch that can happen thank you so much and I fell apart so much on the stream even though it was hard to tell the truth uh, on the stream hearing a story similar to mine like that with so many similarities it got to me because it's the first time where I get to meet somebody that has got almost a photocopy of my story almost a photocopy like there are so many similarities to a story. It was like I was reliving now my life through this woman. And to think that people did not believe me for, for such a long, long time. To the point where the police thought I was crazy. You know, they wanted to subject me to um, evaluation. And I, thought, I offered, I said, okay, fine, take me to the evaluation. Because the police that handled the case told me point blank that he has never had such a thing that a father can ever rape their child people forget that these things happen they just are not reported because they are kept in families as secrets that belong in the families and he says those things happen only on tv i watch too much tv he actually said i watch too much tv guys now to hear that there was there is a woman that have gone through exactly what i've gone through like it was a confirmation to me that i'm not crazy i do know that i'm not crazy but once people have said that long enough you end up doubting yourself you end up um somehow getting that small percentage that says but really did, did this happen you end up asking yourself as well that am I not making up stories and then I have to go through all over again reminding myself of the reasons why I do know that it did happen so hearing yo I, there I go again and I don't want to I don't want to cry yo guys like favorite story and I'm still going to visit it because I feel like um, it's part of my journey for me to to heal because I thought I healed I really did think that I healed but I had listening to favorite story again and I did listen to favorite story on the on the video she made a video that is the video that made me want to make a collab with him. Immediately I listened to her story. I was I wanted a collab. I wanted a collab. But hearing it again, and even the first time I heard it on, on, on her video, I was still as emotional. I was like, this woman, this woman is so me. Like, I am this woman, this woman is me. Immediately I wanted to collab with her. Ask her wherever I saw her commenting, I would just say, I would, at one stage, I left my numbers. I didn't even know that YouTube removes the numbers. 
you cannot leave the 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 contact um as in numbers on youtube youtube removes them i left her so many i wanted to, i wanted her that desperately to a point where i was like oh okay she was on nintendo then we arranged to see with nintendo but i had left it within her so much that she knows i want to talk to her because her story is just a very close a very close photocopy of my story so guys um i did not <laughs> not intend to cry guys you like hey some of the things and i really thought i dealt with this i've said this story so many times without crying so i don't know why i got so emotional at first i thought it was because i was too tired on monday but now i'm realizing that no it this story has it's so deep guys it's so deep it has touched me and it gives me strength to meet women like um, Favor, who are just as passionate about this, about the truth, about alerting others, about creating awareness to others as I am. I am blessed to have her. I feel like she crossed my path for a reason. And I am grateful for that reason. Mm -hmm.